Good morning, guys. This is Tuesday morning. And as we hit this week, I wanted to share with you something that the Lord shared with me last night during prayer. And it's very important for us. It is essential for us to know in this day, and especially as we go into this week. Last night during prayer, the Lord started to speak to me about the anointing of a donkey bow. That was the words that he gave me. He said the anointing of a donkey bow. And as I was uh, thinking about this, as I was just praying about it, spent the, most of the evening in prayer about this, the prayer, uh, asking the Lord, Lord, what do you want to say about this? What is the anointing of a donkey bow? And then the Lord took me to the story of Samson. Now, the story of Samson is very simple. In the story of Samson, you find that Samson took the jaw of a donkey bone and he literally took a thousand men on with a donkey bone. And of course, he brought massive victory. Uh, there was a huge um, victory at the hands of Samson because the Lord anointed the donkey bone. And then the Lord spoke this to me. He said to me that Samson did something very, very unusual after he had a massive victory, uh, a massive conquer, uh, well, the conquering uh, power of the donkey bone. Maybe I must say it like this. Samson had a huge victory because he took something simple and he used it for something unusual. But as I was thinking about this, the Lord spoke these words to me. He said this. He said, listen and see what Samson is busy doing. Samson takes the donkey bone. Obviously, he goes to war of it. He defeats a thousand men with it, but then he does something. He throws the donkey bone away. He throws the donkey bone away. And as I was looking at this, the Lord said these words to me to say to you this morning that I want to do something new through a new method, through a new methodology, through a new pattern that I haven't done before. I'm not going to do it the same way. I'm not going to do it the old way. I'm not going to do it the way I've done it before. I might have done it uh, in the past through a certain pattern. I might have done it in a certain way in the past. But I'm going to do it afresh and I'm going to do it anew for my people. And I'm going to do something that is unusual and I'm going to do something that's peculiar. And so, again, I just want to revert the story to you. Samson took a donkey bone and he had a massive victory. And what I heard the Lord say to me is very simply this. I'm not going to use the same methods that I've used before to accomplish the new. I'm going to do something brand new that I haven't done before. And so this morning, I want you to receive this word that God is going to do something unusual. God is going to do something peculiar. God is going to do something that he hasn't done before. And he is still going to obtain the victory. He's going to do stuff in your life. He's going to do stuff in your family. He's going to do stuff in your business. He's going to move things around, not because... Uh, he couldn't do it through the way he has done it before, but because he wants to do it afresh and anew. Let me say it again. The anointing of the donkey bone is important for us because it, it sounds weird, but it's really not. Most people want to stay at the place where God has brought the breakthrough before. But now I believe what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to me is, is simply this. I want to do it afresh. I want to do it anew. I want to bring healing. I want to bring restoration. I want to bring breakthrough. I want to bring recovery in a way that there has never been recovery before. And I'm not going to do it in the ways that I've done it before. But because as Samson chucked away the donkey bones, so I am going to chuck away the old methodologies, the, the old way of doing things, because I am going to do it afresh and I am going to do it anew. So I want you to receive it this morning. I want you to receive this word that God is not going to do it the old way. God is not going to do it through the old patterns. God is not going to do it through the old molds. God is not going to do it like this. God is going to do it afresh. So this morning, I want to just speak this word out over you. I want to speak it out of your life, of your family's lives, of your business, of every area of your life that you will re receive the fresh touch of God, that you will receive the fresh touch of the anointing, that you will receive the fresh touch of the methodologies of God, the patterns of God, the structures of God, and the wineskin of God. That as you go into this week, 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Well, Monday's gone already. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That you may find a fresh anointing upon your family. A fresh anointing upon your business. A fresh anointing upon your life. Because God wants to do it afresh. And God wants to do it again. Again, I say the anointing of the donkey. But throw away the old stuff. God is going to do it afresh and anew. So I want to pray for you quickly this morning. And then I want you to hit this day. I want you to hit this day with everything you've got. Because again, I say the Lord wants to do it afresh and anew. He's not going to do it the old way. He's not going to do it the way he's done it before. He's going to do it through a new way. So Father, I want to speak out over every single person. Lord, I want to prophesy over their lives. Lord, the anointing of the donkey bone. Father, I want to prophesy over their lives this morning and speak out over their lives. That each and every one of them, Lord, will not want to see the old. That they want not want to see the old way of doing things. But, Lord, that in this day, that they will see, that they will find, that they will establish, that they will come to, Lord, to understand the new that you want to do. Father, I bless each and every one of them with the ability to understand that you want to do something new. And, Father, I speak that over their lives in this day, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Guys, I want you to take a moment. I want you to share this broadcast with people. Again, I say God is not going to do it the old way. He's going to do it a brand new way. There's a brand new method, a brand new methodology that he's going to do it. And he's going to do it through you. And he wants to do it afresh. Let me say it again. God is not going to use the old methodologies. God is not going to use the old ways of how he's done it. He has got a new methodology. He's got a new way that he's going to do it. And he's going to do it for you. So God bless you. Have a powerful Tuesday. Have a powerful Wednesday. A powerful Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I tell you, there's something that God's busy doing. There's something happening in the spiritual realm. I'm aware of it as I pray. And so I just wanted to share this with you that you grab hold of it and say, this is my week where I'm going to see the new. This is where I see, this is the week where I'm going to see God move afresh in Jesus name. God bless you guys. Have an awesome Tuesday. Let's hit this week. Let's make it count the anointing of a donkey bird.